सब्सक्राइब एडम टेक टू गेट न्यू वीडियो नोटिफिकेशन एंड डोंट फॉरगेट टू प्रेस बेल आइकन I guess in this video I'm going to discuss about how to merge multiple sheet in Excel. After that, I will load all the record in Microsoft SQL Server. So at here this is the Excel file. The name is A1, and here sheet one. So sheet one name is tab one. So this is the records, and here three columns. Now here after tab two the same, and here this is the records, and here after tab three two rows and three columns. So I will merge. Or this one tab one tab two tab three. After that, I will load into Microsoft SQL Server table. So see at here their structures are similar. So all structure at here three or uh, columns are there and here tab two and tab three. So structure are similar. So if we have a similar kind of structure, then we can do it very easily. So at here let's go to Microsoft Visual Microsoft Visual Studio now. There, I already created one uh, package. The name is Excel Sheet Example. Now, here after the next is, I'm going to delete the previous package. So this is not required, and here this is not required. Now the first thing is we need to drag at here for each loop container into control flow. Here drag that. Now make that bigger. Now right click. Here you can do editing. Now here you can find so this is the name for each loop container description and here go to collection. Now here we need to select at here or uh, for each ADO dot net schema row set emulator. So since I'm going to load all the sets into Microsoft SQL Server, so we need to select at here ADO dot net schema row set. Select that. Now here after the next thing is go to connection. So here I am going to create new connection. So there I already created connection. So this connection I am going to delete that. Now this is the connection with SQL Server. So let's click on new connect new key uh, new button. Now here after the next thing is go to provider provider. Now so add here of uh, Excel. This is the pro product of Microsoft. So inside Microsoft Office, you can find Excel, Word, PowerPoint, all those things. Now here, so uh, this is the product at here Microsoft Office. So we need to select at here Microsoft Office 12.0 Access or Database Engine. Okay. So if you're using Excel, so we need to select these things. Okay. Now here after click on OK. Now here after the next is Server or File Name. So we need to give at here the file name. So either you can give server or you can give file name. So at here working on file. So 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 that I'm going to select the file name. So we need to copy this uh, path and here after or uh, paste that part at here. Now here after so we need to give at here or uh, file name also. So file name is the E1. Okay, so let's give at here E1 and here. Since this is the Excel tabs, so we need to give at here extension also. So X L S X. So you want to know what is the exact extension there. So right click here properties. Now here you can find dot X L S X. Click on OK. So here you can find X L S X. We need to give. Now here after the next thing is click on all. So at here currently I'm using Microsoft Office. 2000 or 7. So at here going to write Excel 12.0. So here no need to change anything else. Now here after connection. So it's all looking fine. Now here after let's click on test connection. There is no any error. So test connection succeeded. Now click on OK. Here after OK. So there, I get, I just created one new connection. So here, this is the connection is added. Now here, after click on OK. So here, this is the file and here. Now next is schema. So we need to select at here tables. So because I am working on tables, edu.net tables. So we need to select tables. Now here, after set restriction. So here you can find 
So at the zero index, there is a table catalog. Uh, one index table underscore schema and third is index table name. So here we need to if uh, at here we need to select this part. So zero one two. So two index at a table name. So let's click on OK. Now here after the next is we need to create the variable. So at here select variable mapping and here you can find new variable. So let's create at here new variable. So this is the package name. Here you can find this is the package. Now here let's give meaningful variable name. So let's give at here var1. So var1 here give. Now this is the user a string. It's fine. Now here. So since so at here table name. So at this point when I click here. You know, okay. Let's give at here first variable. Uh, so value uh, at here let's give. Either you can give at here 2. Or you can give at here Excel sheet name. So tab 1. Okay. Let's give at here tab 1. Now here we need to give dollar. Okay, so it's a uh, and here we need to change the index. So index should be 2. So why I have given the index? Because if you click right click at here add it. So I have given the index because if you go, I give it, go to the restriction, so add here in two index table name as there. So that I have given the index two. Now here after OK, variable mapping, it's all done. Now the next thing is, so we need to drag add here data flow task inside for each row. Now here after double click and here. So here after we need to use add here source. So our source, it will come from, so other source, Let's give a track of source, Excel source. Now here after add it. Now click on new. So here we need to uh, set the file Excel file path. So let's click on browse. And here it's automatically come. Now if you want, then here you can search. So my Excel sheet is in tab folder, and here E1 is. So see at here this is the extension it will accept. Click on open. So at here Microsoft Excel version 2017, it's there. Now here after the next is, so we need to uh, select at here table name or view name. So uh, uh, name or variable. Now here after the next thing, so variable, it's automatic come there. And here after let's go to the column part. So this is the columns inside there. Now here after connection manager, if you want then here you can check the preview. So since I selected at here or tab one, or seat. So here, this is the tab one seat that I selected. So that at here when I click on preview, so this is the record of tab one. It's a display. Now here after let's click uh, close and here after let's click on uh, OK. So uh, source part has been over. Now the next thing is, so we need to uh, select at here destination. So for the destination, I'm going to load to or uh, I'm going to combine this all or uh, seat. And hereafter, going to load into uh, Microsoft SQL Server. So, for this, we need to use add here OLEDB destination. Now, hereafter, link between two. Now, hereafter, right click, click on add it. Now, hereafter, let's click on new. So, then I already created a connection with the name localhost Adam and SA. So, add here data source if that ask, let's click on new. So, if you want, then here you can give the server name that is the uh, local host here after give the username and your password here after click on test then automatically uh, they are going to create the new connection now let's i'm not going to create already created now here after let's click on okay now here after table out view it's uh, selected now here after we need to select the state oh sorry we need to uh, select the target or table so at here first I'm going to show you the target table. So this is the table that I'm going to use. Table underscore one. So if you want to check the record, so there is nothing three columns there. So now here after the next thing is so select add here or destination table table one. Now here after let's click on mapping. Drag one by one. So add here dnum for call two and here this is for call three. Here after connection, it's created. Now here after we don't need to change anything else. Now let's click on OK. 
So initially in target table there is no any records. Now here after execute this one. So let's click on start. So see right here, two rows, it's affected. Now here after let's execute that. So see right here, this all records it's coming from or seat 1, seat 2 and seat 3. So let's compare that here. This is the tab. Sorry, this is the Excel. So Excel and here tab 1 it's selected. So tab 1 add here 10 account New York. 10 account New York. It's come first. Here after 20 research Dallas. Here 30 cells and here this is the a blank space. So in blank space it's coming at here null. Now here after 40 operation lost 10 and here 50 blank space blank space in blank space it's coming null and null now go to tab 2 so tab 2 here you can find 1110 so 1110 hr perth and here 12 it hanoi and here 130 electronic and delhi now here after in tab 3 so tab 3 it's come 5110 and here marketing or uh, location card 525 and here sales and here manchester so if you do any modification at here, so let's give at here DPT number. So giving at here 1009. Now here after DNAME. So DNAME let's give at here HR. Okay, HR give. And here after CT give Pune. So we need to uh, save that. Here also. So it's a save. Now here after let's truncate that. So again. A new record going to load into inside uh, table underscore one. Now here after, so here after stop that and execute once again. So whatever I did modification there, so it will affected and affected and it will automatically uh, load there. So here I just uh, inserted one thousand nine and here HR and Pune. So this is the way we can merge multiple or uh, seats at here so one more thing at here let's go to let's go to control flow and here after right click and here do editing so suppose at here variable suppose if i give at here index 3 so let's see what happened so index 3 and here save that and execute so see at here i'm getting the error masses so here package execution completed with error so and here if you go there here uh, uh, it's the uh, error it's uh, displaying maximum uh, error count okay maximum error count some kind of masses it's a uh, displaying So at here I'm getting the error uh, because I selected index 3. So at here error masses is or uh, error raised says this is the maximum allowed. So execution method succeeded but the number of error raised. So maximum allowed kind of error it's so displaying. So since I've given the index 6 oh, sorry index 3 that's why it's uh, showing the masses. So at here uh, let's uh, do add it. And here after go to variable or uh, add here this is the correction so set is section so add here 3 so this is the index that is start 0 position table catalog 2 sorry 1 schema 2 add here name and third position tab there so we need to give add here only 2 so suppose if I give select add here 1 so let's see what happened again so I'm going to select add here 1 now click on OK and here save that and execute once again. So let's execute again. It might give the error. So see, add here again the error. So add here, we cannot select to other index. So now here, let's select two stamps. So add here variable and let's give add here two. So add here two position table there. Now click and here after save and execute. So this time it will execute and give the suitable output. So there is no any error at here. So this is the data flow and here three row 
inserted. So this is the use of index 0, 1, 2 and 3. So I hope that this video is helpful for you. So thanks for watching. See you next video. Thank you.